But I will be watching the State of the Union, and there's a great deal of anticipation about what the President might propose for the country. However, unlike past uh, State of the Union addresses, the President's actually tipped his hand a lot more than most previous Presidents have. There's certainly going to be some areas where perhaps the two sides can work together. Uh, trade is probably the foremost amongst them, but uh, all of us would like to see our infrastructure needs met. And I think there's a genuine bipartisan consensus that uh, ISIL and some of the problems we're seeing in the Middle East continue to be dangerous for the United States, and I would expect cooperation in those areas. However, the President's also floated out some ideas that are clearly non-starters with this Congress. The first is a massive tax increase that's really aimed at redistributing wealth from one group of people to another group of people. Now, if the President were making some proposals to fix the Social Security Disability Fund, which is about to go bankrupt, or to fund the Transportation Fund, which is needed to build roads and in infrastructure in the country, or to put us on a long-term path toward fiscal solvency, then I think he would meet with much uh, warmer reception and a much uh, more willing Congress to sit down and bargain with him. But if the idea that the next two years is simply going to be about raising taxes so that we can spend more money in Washington, D.C. at the expense of our constituents, that's simply not going to fly. So again, as always, I look forward to hearing from any president of the United States. I expect the uh, president to get a polite uh, reception, but I think Congress is going to be awfully cool to some of his proposals.